I never done no wrong, just a singing a song. It's down the trail I ride. The rattlesnake well, trail. Well, there's the that restored dog. lodge up there. And there's a trail that comes down here. And it goes into what's known as the wilderness area. You can hike to your heart's content out there and stay out there and sleep and camp out. I'm going to try to make it down to the bottom, like way down there. See if I can get down to that rock. It'll be a long haul coming up. I'm going to take my time, I'm sure, but let's press on here and see how I can do. I drank my water before I came down, so I should be okay for an hour or so. Well, I had to take my vest off and my scarf because down here, once I get in and out of the wind, it's actually very warm up at the top, which is up there. I'm not even part of the way down yet. Got to go way down there. So I'll walk a little bit with the camera, but I can't do this too much because I'll fall over the edge here. Won't be a bad fall, but I get a few nicks. A little switchback coming up here. We're going to turn here, come down the other side. And then the trail goes down there, and then comes down and zigzags back and forth, and eventually winds up down there by those trees. Way down there, you can see some stones they have in the trail. And it goes on then. So I think I'm going to be over in this valley here. That's where the trail goes. Down in there somewhere. Okay, gotta press on. Well, this is arm's length videotaping, and here's that big stone or whatever it is in back of me here that. Uh, I made it down here, but I'm not even part of the way down yet. I still got lots more to go, so let's press on. Well, the clouds are coming in again, so this is handheld. I'm almost down at the bottom here. I want to show you that these are these things I was looking at from way up above. I use my telephone lines. I'm close to them here, although the wind is picking up. Hard to hold the camera steady, but no way was I going to come down this steep road, steep trail, trying to lug that tripod and camera bag, etc., etc. So, here. Uh, clouds coming in now, so there's the rest of the trail. Lays in front of me. Okay. So way up there. Here's a little observation point up by that building where you can look look down. And I'm going to have to do a fast zoom because the sun is coming out just for a second. And I'm down here at the bottom in with all the, uh, in amongst all these clay mounds here. And that's what they are. They're clay. There's red clay mounds. They're a little bit different color down here. But I'm still walking down here. The utter absolute silence when the wind dies down is just fantastic. And I'm down in here like a little dry gulch. Although, it must have had uh, water at one time. Because I can see there's still some dampness over there where some water probably drains out. And what happens with the petrified wood, all these clay mounds uh, over thousands and thousands of years, there's a lot of petrified wood inside of there. And as the clay wears away, it expels chunks of petrified wood. So that's why you see some of them in these little valleys. Uh, like up here, I don't know if I can zoom in on it. Uh, it's not focusing, but there's a couple pieces up there. It's not going to focus because I got weeds in front of me here. But they just spew out and then roll down the side as more erosion comes on. And that's what it is. It's beautiful down here, nice and quiet. Here's a better example where you can see that the 
clay hills expel petrified wood. And I'm going to zoom out. And you can see the clay hills are way down at the bottom. There's some pieces ready to roll down. Way down at the bottom, this is all petrified wood just strewn here that has been spewed out over the ages from the mounds when they were much, much larger. Thousands and thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of years, I don't know. But there it is. And here I am. I'm down here, pretty much on the bottom. I might walk over there a little bit, but I don't want to spend too much time because the park closes at 5 and it's going to take me a while to walk back up, that's for sure. And like I said, this is handheld, so sorry for the quicky, quicky pan here. But I came from over there and to the right, which you can't see the top of the hill I came from. Okay. Well, here I am. I'm down on the valley floor. I don't know if you can hear me, but way, way up there, you see that little tiny, teeny, tiny spot way up the top of that peak. And the wind is blowing my camera because it's sitting on the top of the floor. And that's where we came from. Up down here, and a little cool snow, but still where we need the uh, vest. It's much, much warmer down here than it is way, way up at the top there. Let's start walking back. I can hike here for hours. I would love it, but it's a long trek and it's all uphill going back. So there it is, my friends. Uh, petrified forest, painted desert. I'm here. This is it. November the 12th, 2011, and it's fantastic here. So I'm going to head back up. So let's go do that. Bye bye, my friends. Bye bye. See you all later. Okay, I'm gonna press on here now. Bye bye. Here, I want to show you a close-up of what that clay looks looks like. It's just, uh, you know, you can crunch it up there, and there's just big mounds of it. Big, big mounds of it. Thought I heard some voices. But that's what it is, and all everything comes out of these mounds of clay. So we come back, there's the clay up close. I'm gonna come right down here so you can see it. Let's see if I can steady the camera. And, uh, that's what it looks like from all that. up and that's where I am here well pretty much lost the Sun for the most part ran into another hiker he's on his way down and as we turn around here rather quickly I might add I gotta watch my step we're coming well we have up here these guys which you may see in some vids from way afar. And let's get a closer look at these guys up there. Okay. Now it's all uphill. It's all uphill. There's the trail in front of me. Kind of goes up there, goes around that big rock. And you know, where it's going to come out, I said, is like way up there at the top. Way up there. You see that little marker? I'm trying to hold the camera steady. That's where it brings you out. We're close to that. So, take my time. Make a lot of stops. Not too windy. Not too hot. So I'm really sweaty. Just about right here. So, let's press on here. I'll hold the camera for a little bit. And, it's not too bad right here. And, uh, as we get up higher, it's steeper. I'll need both hands free. Another little gulch down here. Another little hill thing or outcropping up there. Okay. And the 
one's going to pick up maybe as we go up. Okay. Well, stopped on the way up. Do a little bit here. And uh, catch my breath. And it's going to be mostly cloudy now. Not a whole lot of sun. There's more clouds than, than sun in back of me where the sun is. So... And again, no tripod.